came 15 years ago, there was only two churches, one in Brisbane and one on the Gold Coast. Now we've got about six churches and two monasteries and it's growing. Um, definitely a much more different environment to, uh, to Sydney, much more quieter, much more laid back, very uh, almost like a, a city but with a country feel. Um, so that actually at the beginning was a shock for me, but now I actually enjoy it and embrace it. Now I go back to Sydney, that's too much for me. Um, but in terms of the church, definitely it's grown and uh, many things have developed over the years. We've ha we have now a homeless service, we now have a, like a nursing home service, we're reaching out to the community a lot more. Um, we're doing, uh, we did once uh, for the centenary of the Anzacs, we did a service there. So definitely there is, uh, the church itself is growing and our outreach and our integration and our interaction with the local Australian community has grown. Um, and we look forward to many more, many more beautiful years. نحتفل اليوم باليوبيل الذهبي أي بمرور خمسين سنة على بداية الخدمة للكنيسة القبطية الأرثوذكسية في قارة أستراليا. الحبيبة وأيضا على مرور 30 سنة على بداية الخدمة في ولاية كوينزلاند نقدم الشكر أولا إلى الله الذي يرعانا دائما في كل مكان ثم إلى كل من المتنيح البابا كرولس السادس والمتنيح البابا شنودة الثالث وإلى أبينا البابا المعظم الأنبا تودروس الثاني وأبينا الأسكف الأنبا دانييل أسكفنا ورعينا المحبوب والأنبا دانيال أسكف ورئيس دير الأنبا شنودة بسيدني وأبونا مينا نعمة الله ولكل الأباء الذين أتوا وقدموا الخدمة للولاية ثم أبينا موسى سليمان أول كاهن مقيم في الولاية جيت هنا بريزبن سنة 89 سنة 89 كانوا كل الموجودين في بريزبن حوالي عشر عائلات ما كانوش يقدروا أبدا أبدا يقوموا بتكاليف الكنيسة يعني عشان كده الكنيسة كانت بتعان من سيدني سيدني هي اللي كانت بتدفع مصاريف الكاهن ومصاريف الكنيسة بعد كده تقول لي حصل إيه أقول لك أنا معرفش بناء الكنائس دايما بيبقى هو في عمل ربنا فالواحد يقف يتفرج عليه لكن أنا ما عملتش حاجة خالص خالص أنا كل اللي عملته أن أنا كنت بصلي وقال له يا ربي استخدمني عشان خاطر الشعب ده وكان ليه نظرة للمستقبل أن في المستقبل ممكن جدا يبقى في ناس في الجولد كوس روح أصلي لهم قداس هناك في ناس يمكن في النورس أروح أصلي لهم قداس في ناس يمكن في باندا بيرج بروح أعمل لهم قداس كل مكان رحت فيه عملت فيه قداس النهاردة بقى في كنيسة وربنا يخلينا نفت الأنبا دانيال أسقفنا المحبوب لأنه ما يلاقي أي مجموعة أقباط في أي مكان بيشتري لهم الكنيسة وطبعا كل ما كانت تنتشر وكل ما كانت تزيد كل ما الملكوت ربنا يبقى موجود بقوة um, When I first came, uh, what I found was that the community here in um, St. Mina, St. Anthony Church it did just initially feel like home. Um, everyone was so welcoming. Um, they were always there to actually uh, allow me to see the Gold Coast um, and also all the way up to St. Mary's Church um, in Callumvale. Um, exactly the same uh, family feel. Uh, also we've had so many services that are just like Sydney as well. So we had our uh, homeless service um, both at the Gold Coast um, and also in Brisbane. Um, and not just that, we had our youth services where we always had all the older youth uh, take us around, uh, show us the place and actually bring us into their homes as well. So it didn't make the move feel like I was um, leaving home at all. Um, it actually felt like I had a family here and that as the time continued on, um, I just decided to stay um, and now I've got a, a big family and I enjoy every day of it. Before I became a monk, I used to live and serve in the Coptic Orthodox Church in St. Mary and St. Joseph's uh, Parish in Queensland. Growing up as a youth in Queensland was really a great blessing, honour and privilege. Um, we were a small community growing up and we were really a family and um, we were so privileged and lucky to have such great servants uh, like Father Musa Solomon who was our priest at the time and the, our Sunday school servants and just the community in general such a positive and great community to grow up in and really um, implanted the love of God and love of the church in us from a young age and um, it's it made me what I am today thank God
I moved to Queensland here to, in 2010 and I did work in Toowoomba for five years when God has called me to be a, a priest. So I got ordained in 2015. Um, I had the blessing of serving as a deacon. I started with a deacon with Father Moses Solomon, um, who is my uh, confession father. And I got ordained for the last four years. Um, it was the grace of God. Um, it's been a, a, a great blessing for me and for my family. And um, uh, I cannot thank God uh, much for what he did in my life and, uh, and for letting me see the work of his hand in the service and the blessing of, uh, of his presence among us. Um, it's been uh, great to serve among these uh, great fathers um, whom I served with, who adopted me as a young priest and uh, taught me how to serve and how to look after people and, and see how humble they were. And they built all the service for us to come along and uh, to start working and, uh, and try to do uh, some work like what they did. And um, uh, I would like to thank God for everything we see and the service we've been seeing around. One of the first people in Brisbane, one of the first families. Um, it's really cool to see how much it's grown. It's We used to have just one church, now it's heaps of churches. So many people that you can't even recognize. Um, but I think the coolest thing is that we serve all together um, as one church and one community um, and that we serve with one heart. And It's such a wonderful opportunity to be here today. Uh, it's just an amazing um, to see you know what what we've um, been through and what we, where we are now um, uh, you know since I came to Australia uh, the church was was a very small community and it has just expanded very drastically in Queensland um, to so many churches and it's so, it's amazing as a youth to see how the churches come together as one and have um, you know combined events and uh, surf together not just in the church but in the community as well. I would like to congratulate each and every um, one for the past 30 years and I can't um, begin to imagine or I can't wait to see what the next 30 years ha has in, um, in plans for us. The holy and glorious altar we see before us calls us to a lovely banquet from heaven for us our Saviour's body and blood abiding in us with God's grace, joy and peace filling our hearts uh, To be honest with you, once uh, I was married in the uh, late 80s uh, Queensland was always a second home to us, so we always came here at least once a year for holidays. Um, so it, it's familiar territory, and uh, you know when when the calling came uh, to serve in Queensland, I thought you know that's God speaking, you know, with His blessing, and it was very. Uh, uh, th there was no other answer other than what the Lord wills. You know, I will do. Uh, serving the youth, you know, as 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 one of the former youth who was served by the church and who appreciated um, you know, that dedication by our forefathers, mothers and priests and everybody who put in together and, and to be honest with you, growing up in those early days it was the, it was the community that brought us up. Uh, so every, every man was our father, every woman was our mother uh, and our priests were, were hard but you know, they were gentle and, and you know, when you grow up and you appreciate that you want to give back and I think that's what brought me into serving, you know, just wanting to give back. So um, I, I, I love the youth so much and I appreciate and, and respect and understand the importance of the youth 
you know, in our community for today and for the future. And the message I, I, I say is very similar to what Bishop Daniel uh, Daniel said today is that, you know, our fathers built the church that they felt we needed. The youth need to build the church that they think them and their children need in the future. And I think that's a very important and, and powerful calling to all youth uh, to, to, to take a stand and make them make their presence felt in their church. I used to work and live in Townsville between 2008 and 2014. It's a beautiful uh, city and uh, we had a, ch a church service since 2008. Uh, we bought the church uh, on uh, 15th of April 2013. Uh, we started 2008 with only one family and the church grows all the way until we get a, a beautiful place that we bought it. Uh, I was blessed to be in the first deacon uh, committee to the, the Townsville Church. I left Townsville in 2014, I moved to Gold Coast, but uh, it's a beautiful church and beautiful uh, place. Uh, we have uh, uh, James Cook University, which uh, attract a lot of students across the country. People from uh, Sydney moved to Townsville to study, uh, from Brisbane as well. So Townsville, like a, a student, a big student hub. What's the name of the church and uh, the, de the decision behind choosing those particular saint names? Uh, I think uh, we choose a couple of three names. The names that we chose is St. Mary and St. George uh, in World Guru in Townsville. I think we, we put three names and uh, God, God chose that name. <laughs> Today we actually attended a beautiful uh, historical uh, celebration. We celebrated 50 years of our Coptic Church in Australia as well as 30 years of the establishment of the church in Queensland. We Today we actually made our church proud. The youth of our uh, church in Queensland made us all proud with their presentation, with their efforts, with their tunes, with their hymns. And today we are really blessed to have uh, His Grace Bishop Daniel, uh, the, our bishop, our beloved bishop, the Bishop of Sydney and Affiliated Region as well as His Grace Bishop Daniel, the Abbot of St. Shinoda Monastery in Sydney. We are really blessed to have all the dignitaries and distinguished guests that came and celebrated with us such a historical event. And we thank uh, foremost our beloved Pope, His Pope, uh, His Holiness Pope Teodros II for his care, for his love, for his, his shepherdhood. We pray that may God preserve him for us for many years and preserve all the priests that labor for us and give, show us their love that and serve us in Queensland. May God bless our Coptic Church and may it flourish and grow even more and more over the many over the generations. <laughs> tonight the Coptic uh, Orthodox Diocese 50th anniversary celebration in Brisbane and I'm very honoured to be here tonight. I was probably the first Egyptian to join the police in Australia, certainly the first one in Sydney I think um, and it, it was tough, uh, I can't say it was uh, smooth sailing, I can't say there was no racism or discrimination but you plough through, I was strongly supported by my community, my family and all my loved ones and when I look back on it, I have no regrets. 
I've enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, I'm blessed. God has blessed me with a wonderful family and a community that is thriving and prospering in Australia. Very proud of all the community. I find it hard to believe that 50 years have gone by. They seem to have gone by in a blink and I just want to do it all again. كل 50 سنة وانتم طيبين وكل 30 سنة وانتم طيبين وكل 17 سنة وسيدنا طيب ابونا متاوس واستاذ ايميل ايه العظمة دي ايه العظمة دي النهاردة انا 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 سمعت استاذ شريف وهو قاعد يقول يعني ليل ليل دايس اسمها سيدني ما اسمهاش كوينزلاند وسمعت بيشب دانيل وهو بيقول ما ينفعش كده ده 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 هنا احسن من هناك انا حضرت هناك وبقول لكم هنا احسن كتير من هناك يعني النهارده 30 سنه او 50 سنه او او 17 سنه بيرمزوا بيرمزوا لحاجات كتير قوي اول حاجه بيرمزوا لقيم التضحيه وقيم انكار الذات وقيم الاصرار اللي انتوا عملتوها اللي انتوا عملتوها الاحتفال ده النهارده عشانكم انتوا عشانكم انتوا وابهاتكم وامهاتكم واجدادكم اللي هم عملوا الكنيسه هنا في كوينزلاند بقالها 30 سنه واللي الناس اللي في حته التانية اللي عملت الكنيسه في استراليا بقالها 50 سنه دي حاجه الحاجه الثانيه بترمز لقد ايه ان البلد دي بلد عظيمه وان الولايه دي ولايه كوينزلاند ولايه عظيمه you are like a beautiful bride and christ is your groom seven mysteries are the jewels adorned with your crown your heavenly bread is the food in fellowship consumed prayers lit candles and Uh, this is a celebration, as we heard earlier, uh, not just uh, of your church, but of the contribution that each and every one of you and your families has made to our state and nation. Uh, we are so blessed in our nation to be the most multicultural nation in the world, uh, and we embrace that, each and every one of us, whether it is your family who came here 50 years ago to found this church, my family who came here in 1862 to Queensland. We all came for a reason, and that was to start something special for our families and our community. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you to all of you who have embraced me into your community. Uh, I feel very privileged to know many of you, some of whom have contributed very significantly to our great professions, to theology, to medicine, to the law, to education. Uh, all of you have contributed significantly to our state and nation, and along with Duncan, we want to wish you all the very best on this golden jubilee. Uh, we thank you for your contribution to Queensland over the last 30 years, and we look forward to that, contribu that contribution continuing. I really had the honour to, uh, to come to serve here in Brisbane back to 1986 when I was being called by His Holiness Pope Shenouda uh, to come and serve here. So I came uh, to, uh, uh, to, to pray with them the Holy Passion Week and then the Feast of uh, the Resurrection. At that time, uh, it was um, 1986, and, and, and they were just recently bought the, uh, the, uh, the first church, which is the St. Mary and St. Joseph Church in, um, uh, in Cooper's Plain. And I had a lovely time with the people there. They were a small community, but um, they were very um, eager to, uh, to be together and, and, and to um, worship together. And because of their love and their uh, humbleness, they, uh, now we can see nine churches and five or six priests and lots of people and, and the youth are great here and flourishing a lot. May God bless them uh, on their 30th anniversary. <laughs> Yeah. 
the name of Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, I mean, today is a joyful day. I attended the celebration of the 30th anniversary of the establishment of the Coptic Orthodox Church here in Queensland in Australia. And I would like to mention that the history is, 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 is bright history here in Queensland. Why? Because the people here started the, this church with one church in Coppers Plain under the name of St. Mary and St. Joseph. Uh, church in Coppers Plain, but now we have seven churches and seven priests and two monasteries, one for monks and one for nuns. And I have a dream here in Queensland uh, State that we will work together hard, very hard, to establish the first Coptic Orthodox school so that we can look for the children of this uh, this state and and prepare them to be a good use for the future to lead the Coptic Orthodox Church in Queensland. I wish them all the best and I'm very proud of all uh, what had been achieved and I pray to the Lord to bless them and support them to do more achievements under uh, the work and the leadership of His Holiness, Pope Tawadros II. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.